On today's episode of the Battle for Olympus, we have the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, the presidential elections have finally been concluded. Um, as with most elections in Nigeria, candidates may decide um, to exercise their electoral rights to contest in the election if they are unhappy with the outcome. Fortunately, the Electoral Act of 2022 specifies the procedure for contesting election results. I want you to know that election petitions are unique because of the processes on the courts and tribunals, on the time frames, amongst other things. So these are the key things that I want you to know about the presidential election petition. Number one, who has local standi? Um, an election petition may be presented by either a candidate or a political party which participated in the election. Listen, guys, ordinary citizens cannot file an electoral petition. Um, so don't be out here trying to waste your money and your time. Um, because of its pivotal role in the conduct of the presidential elections, INEC is automatically made a party to the petition. Number two, on what grounds can a presidential election petition be brought? One, ineligibility to run for office at the time of the vote. Corrupt practices and non-compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act of 2022. Three, the respondent was not legitimately elected by a majority of the valid votes cast in the election. So now, where do you file a petition? All roads lead to the Court of Appeal, which has original jurisdiction um, to hear and determine anything on presidential elections as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, the Court of Appeal will be duly constituted if it consists of at least three justices of the Court of Appeal. Um, this pretty much becomes the Presidential Election Tribunal. Um, appeals can also be made to the Apex Court. So now let's discuss the time frame, guys. The petition must be filed within 21 days of declaration of results. Failure to do so within the stipulated time simply means that you have forfeited your right. Um, the Act also provides that the hearing of a presidential petition shall be completed within 180 days from the date of the filing of the petition. So these people know about that wasting of time life. Everything needs to be like done chop chop. Under the current practice, an appeal arising from a presidential election petition must be concluded within 60 days um, from the date of the filing of the notice of appeal. So if you add 180 days from the tribunal um, and 60 days from the appeal, we have about eight months for all things presidential. So now you might be wondering, what are the possible outcomes from filing a petition? One, the tribunal can uphold the election. Um, two, they can decide to nullify the election and order a fresh election to be conducted no later than 90 days if an appeal is not made or if the decision was made by the appellate court. In the event where the election is declared invalid because the candidate with the most vote was ineligible to run, um, the court shall declare the candidate with the second highest number of valid votes cast in the election, who satisfies the requirements of the Constitution and the Electoral Act um, as lawfully elected. Provided that the candidate with the second highest number of valid votes cast in the election remains a member of the political party on whose platform he contested. If illegitimately elected on the grounds that um, the winner did not receive the majority of value votes cast at the election, um, the court or tribunal should declare as legitimately elected the candidate who received the greatest number of valid votes cast at the election and complied with the provisions of the Constitution and the Electoral Act. Finally, all objections filed in the presidential election petition are to be determined at the final judgment. So that's everything for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comments in the comments section. See you in my next video. Peace.